What is up cowgirls? Welcome back to my channel. Today we will be roasting my 2020s Spotify Wrapped. Um, I don't know if you guys like talking about your Spotify Wrapped or if like you think it's boring to look at what other people are listening to. But I personally really like seeing people's like top songs and stuff. I think it's cool because I like see and I'm like, oh, you were sad this year, which like understandable. It's been a rough year. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. And I think I have some pretty good roasts for myself this year. So let's just hop right into it. Let's start you off with a win. 451. I discovered 451 new artists this year. That sounds like a lot. I listened to 373 genres. I didn't even know that they were more than like seven genres of music. All right. My top genre was pop. Basic, but let's be real. We all love some pop music. <laughs> I just accepted that I'm kind of a cheesy bitch that loves pop music. Yeah. <laughs> I am not gonna do Number two, modern rock. I love me some modern rock music. I don't know if you guys would expect this, but like, I sometimes get into that mood where I'm like, me, 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 me. And I just have like, me, me. Um, number three, rap. That is probably from when I'm the one driving my friends around and I assume that they want to listen to rap because I think that's like what, what's in. So I play rap for people in the car because I just think it's the genre of the generation. Number four, indie pop. All right, and number five, coming in hot, rock. Next up, one song that helps you through it all. This is my number one song placement, Ribs by Lord. Now this placement just screams, Hi, I'm Riley and I'm a senior in high school and I'm terrified of growing up and the fact that I will be moving out and going to college in eight months and I don't totally know what I want to do with my life and how do I turn on the dishwasher. And I think that explains this perfectly. Like 2020 required backup. These were the other song. These were the other songs you had on repeat. Number two! I see girl, can't stop, won't stop, gay up. ten white toes and them toy flip flops, mannequins and pedicures, I'm always tip top when they say I'm not hot, all these lies need to stop cause I'm icy, wifey, haters wanna fight. My favorite line in that song is, cash money mama that be dining in Bahamas, eating fettuccine pasta with the scallops and the lobsters, huh? I don't got no time for these hoes, speaking on my name like I'm someone that they know. I love that line. I love it. I just said the eating fettuccine pasta with the scallops and the lobsters because, I mean, it's genius. Lyrically. My dream is like a child and I'm taking all the custody. You beefing with my enemy does not make you a friend of me. Girl's so weird, stay clear. I'm living drama free, period. Ask me if I'm rolling with some Gucci, bitch, I might be. It's very unlikely my wrist ain't looking icy. Charging by the minute because my time is very pricey. So, so yeah, I love that song a lot. Number three, sweater weather. I think the first day that it turned like 70 degrees. I live in Texas, so that's kind of considered cold. I was like, turn it on, it's too cold. Um, so yeah. Number four, Can I Call You Tonight by Dayglo. I didn't know I listened to this song that much, except I guess I kinda can. I think I, think I really liked this song when I first heard it for the first time on TikTok. Number five, She, She, She by Harry Styles. This is the most sexy song I've ever heard. It is so beautiful. I love how I'm not really roasting myself right now. I'm kind of just complimenting my music taste. All right, and this is where it gets good. 
Taylor Swift was my number one artist this year and I was in her top 0.5% of her listeners. And let me let me let me tell you. I did the math to see like what rank this would put me in of her listeners on Spotify. So she has 38 million monthly listeners on Spotify and and then I multiplied that by 0.5 and that equaled 190,000 which means I am within the top 190,000 fans. And although that is a very large number, it's also kind of small compared to 38 million. So I just want to put out there that I am a diehard Swifty till the day I die. I know every single word to every single song. And maybe another reason she's my top artist is because every single romantic situation I've ever had in my entire life has a Taylor Swift song assigned to it so um yeah i'm a catch and is my rank of being a taylor swift fan higher than my rank in high school yes but you win some you lose some so we're all good you know okay and last but not least we have my top artists number one coming in taylor swift number two lana del rey um, how could you not? She will and always will be one of my favorites of all time. Did she create my unhealthy obsession with the gas station 7-Eleven because of her song Diet Mountain Dew? Yes. In fact, I have heart-shaped sunglasses that I'll wear. Let me go get them. Baby, put on heart-shaped sunglasses cause we're gonna take a ride. Diamond do baby New York City Never was ever girl so pretty Baby stopping at 7 Eleven Did I start listening to her music at a little too young of an age? Yeah, yeah, I did. Her and Marina and the Diamonds and Melanie Martinez probably shouldn't have been listening to them in sixth grade when I was eleven years old, but here I am. Speaking of Melanie Martinez, she was my number three favorite artist, and I, I mean, something about them ranking the people I'm listening to, I look at it and I'm like, wow, this is so accurate, because it, it is, it is accurate, that's the point of it. Number four, The Neighborhood, this was expected, they're just like my go-to, like one of the bands that I can literally just like, I get in the mood and then for like a week straight I'll only be listening to their music. Like it's just so good. I just love them so much. Number five, the Harold Styles himself. God, I love that man. Okay, I'm on the last page now, so we're almost done. Um, my total minutes listened was sixty seven thousand eight hundred and ninety four. Which I don't I don't know if that's a lot or not. I think it's like middle range. Because I have seen someone with like a hundred thousand, which just, that's good for you. That is awesome. Anyway, you guys, I hope you enjoyed talking about music with me. I really enjoyed this. And Spotify Wrapped is just like unwrapping Christmas presents on Christmas morning. Like, it's, it's just so good. You just get to know yourself a little bit more. And I love her. And that is is one of the many reasons why Spotify is better than Apple Music. So, I mean, I know they have their own thing, but I just, I, I just, it's like more pleasing on Spotify for some reason. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. And I hope you have the best day ever and like are enjoying the Christmas season. Even though speaking of ribs by Lord and relating that to how Christmas is whenever you aren't a child anymore, it is so depressing. Like, there's no, like, magic. Like, there's, like, yeah. I know, like, whenever you're a kid, like, there's things that make it feel magical. But, like, now it's just, like, sad. Like, I want to, I want to feel that feeling, but it's just not here. And I put up Christmas lights on my tree over there, and I have this tree, and then I have some blocks that say Merry Christmas. I don't know. Maybe we just all have dopamine deficiencies. Okay, bye guys. I love you. Rock on. <laughs> also, comment down below like what your top song was or who your top artist was or like any fun fact from your Spotify wrapped because I'm not even saying this. Feel like comment down below.
but I like genuinely want to know. I think it's so interesting to see what people were listening to and stuff. Okay, bye.